So we are going to solve problem 3.65 from Sadiku book and the question is solve for the mass current. So we are asked to find I1, I2, I3, I4 and I5. So there will be 5 equations from the loops and let's start at loop number 1. Okay, let's do KVL at loop number 1. Okay, KVL says that the sum of voltage in a loop will equal to zero and let's start from this voltage source. The value of the voltage source is 12 volt but here the current flowing from negative to positive so the sign will be negative. And now we move on to resistor that 5 ohm so 5 and the focus of our loops is I1 so I multiply this by I1 and it is the only current that pass through this resistor and we move on to that 1 ohm resistor and here we have two currents that passing through I1 and I4 but we focus on I1 so I multiplied by I1 first and I4 is flowing to the opposite direction so I subtract I4 from I1 and then the last one we move on to that 6 ohm resistor so 6 and again I multiplied by I1 but here I2 is flowing to the opposite direction so minus I2 and that will equal to 0 and let's see the coefficient of I1 we will have 5 plus 1 it's 6 6 plus 6 it's 12 12 I1 and the coefficient of I2 is minus 6 I2. And the coefficient of I3 we don't have, so 0 I3. And for I4, we will only have this minus I4. And then we can move this minus 12 to the right hand side, so this will equal to minus 12. So let's save this as equation number 1. And we move on to loop number two. So we move on to loop number two. KVL at loop I2. Okay, we start from this 6 ohm resistor. So 6 ohm. But now the focus is on I2. So I multiplied by I2. And here I1 is flowing to the opposite direction, so minus I1. And then we move on to this 1 ohm resistor, plus 1, and our focus is I2. But there I4 is flowing to the opposite direction. And then we move on to this 1 ohm resistor. So 1 ohm resistor here, and our focus is on I2. But here we will have I5 flowing to the opposite direction. And the last one we will have this 8 ohm resistor. First I multiplied by I2 but here I3 is flowing to the opposite direction. And this all will equal to 0. So I put 0 here because we don't have enough space. And let's see what can we do here. Let's see the coefficient of I1. It is minus 6 only from here, no other. Okay, minus 6 I1. And for I2, we will have 6 here plus 1, 7. 7 plus 1 is 8. 8 plus 8 is 16. So plus 16 I2. And then for I3, what can we get about I3 is from this one. So minus 8 I3. And for I4, we only have from this one minus I4. And for I5, we only have for this one minus I5. And this all equal to 0. And let's save this as equation number 2. So, so far we have two equations. We need to work out on three more. So, let's do 
kvl at loop i3 okay we will have this resistor here 8 ohm and our focus is on i3 and here i2 is flowing to the opposite direction so minus i2 plus okay let's move on to this one ohm resistor again we focus on i3 but here i5 is flowing to the opposite direction minus i5 and then plus 6 and the only current that pass through it is i3 and here we have voltage source and the current is flowing from negative to positive so the sign will be minus and the value is 9 that will equal to 0 and I can move this minus 9 to the right hand side so that will equal to 9 and here let's simplify this do I have I1 no no I1 here I2 yes I have I2 so minus 8 I2 and I3 8 plus 1 is 9 9 plus 6 is 15 15 I3 and then we will have I4 do we have I4 no I4 we have I5 so minus I5 is equal to 9 and let's save this as equation number 3 okay so far we have three equations two more to go and let's do kvl at loop number four okay let's do from this voltage source and the current is flowing from negative to positive so the sign will be negative and the value is 6 and we move on to the 3 ohm resistor and the only current that pass through it is I4 and here we have 2 ohm resistance and we focus on I4 but I5 is flowing to the opposite direction so minus I5 then we move on to this 1 ohm resistor plus 1 and I multiply it by I4 but here I2 is flowing to the opposite direction minus I2 and the last one we move on to this 1 ohm resistor plus 1 I4 and there I1 is moving through the opposite direction so this will equal to 0 and I can move this minus 6 to the right hand side so I will have all of this equal to 6 and let's see what can we do here minus I1 is here minus I1 I2 minus I2 do we have I3 here no I3 okay let's move on to I4 I4 is 3 plus 2 5 5 plus 1 is 6 6 plus 1 is 7 plus 7 i4 and then for i5 we will have 2 multiplied by minus i5 is minus 2 i5 okay let's save this as equation number 4 Okay, our whiteboard is full. Let's save equation number 1, 2, 3, and 4 first. And let me clean the board. Okay, so, have, so far we have these four equations. And let's do the last loops. The loops number 5. So let's do KVL and loop number 5. I5. So let's start at this 4 ohm resistor so 4 ohm and the only current that pass through it is i5 
and we made voltage source here and the current is flowing from negative to positive so the sign will be negative and the value is 10 volt plus this one ohm resistor and our focus is i5 but here i3 is moving through moving to the opposite direction so minus i3 and we move on to this one ohm resistor plus one ohm and we multiply it by i5 and then we subtract i2 because i2 is flowing to the opposite direction and for the last one we will have 2 multiplied by i5 but there i4 is flowing to the opposite direction so like this and the all of this will equal to 0 and we can move that minus 10 to the right hand side so we will have 10 and do we have i1 here no i1 so let's move on to i2 i2 the only current that the only coefficient is comes from this term so minus i2 and for coefficient of i3 is only from this term minus i3 and i4 is only came from this term minus 2i4 and for i5 we will have 4 plus 1 is 5 5 plus 1 is 6 6 plus 2 is 8 so 8i5 and let's have this as equation number 5 so I will write this equation here so we'll have minus i2 minus i3 minus 2i4 plus 8i5 is equal to 10 okay we have five equations with five variables so let's transform transform this into matrix form and let's see what can we do from there and if we rewrite this equation as matrix matrix form we will get this matrix so it is 5 by 5 and I'm not going to solve this manually I will plug this into software MATLAB so we will have the value of I1 until I5 immediately so let me plug this into MATLAB and I will tell the result after it so i think we made mistakes when copying this so this should be 12 not minus 12 so this is 12 and this one is 12 and for the answer i1 is 2.17 ampere i2 is 1.99 ampere I3 is 1.81 ampere and I4 is 2.09 ampere and I5 is 2.25 ampere and this is our final answer this is all the mass currents from this circuit okay hopefully i did not make any mistakes and thank you for watching